you need me to make another ice machine run? You know, there's some wounds that ice can't heal. <laughs> <laughs> What? You, you have to admit, that was a pretty cheesy line. <laughs> you know, you have a really strange way of apologizing. I'm sorry. It's just, we've been working through this all night, and I think I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> Look, you know how I truly feel. You also know me better than anyone else. I made a stupid decision to protect you when we were kids, and it just kept escalating from there. I wanted to tell you so many times, but it got harder and harder, especially when you started leaving the tickets. I couldn't bring myself to take that away from you. It would be like you finding out that America's Next Top hand model was fixed. Wait, is it? Did you hear something? <laughs> no. I was just using that as an example. <sighs> Okay, because I don't think I could handle that right now. I think I always knew deep down that it was all too good to be true, that I'd never meet them, but I guess a part of me wanted to believe that maybe something bigger would come out of all of this, that it wasn't just about action figures or championships or entertaining millions of people, that it would help me find a part of myself that was missing. But maybe something bigger did come out of all of this. This wasn't about finding two people who would fill a hole in your life. It was about millions of people finding you to fill holes in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> now that was cheesy. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Maybe. I have something for you. Please don't tell me this is a letter from my long lost aunt and uncle telling me to forgive my best friend. Just open it. What's this all about? It's our new list. On one of my ice machine runs, or maybe it was one of the times you locked me out of the room, I can't remember, but I made some phone calls to management, and it's unprecedented, but they've agreed to let us get revenge on Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at tomorrow night's WrestleMania. Assuming you're on board. I guess we're coming out of retirement. This has to be some kind of record. <laughs> There's one other thing you need to know. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe agreed to the match, but only if we put our Hall of Fame spots on the line. You really want to do this? If we don't fight back after what they did, then we don't deserve those spots. Package deal. I'm in. Hey, just wanted to let you know, I left two open seats in the audience just like you always did. Why? I mean, obviously my birth parents aren't showing up anytime soon. So was it just for good luck or out of respect or something? You'll see. It doesn't matter how tonight turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, and I could probably raise my rates again. But like I said, doesn't matter. Well, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our start. What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my prize student. Never doubted you once. I used to call you Sure Thing Trey. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best, and you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets? I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, sure thing. Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I appreciate you saying that. But I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and what's at stake. 
Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do, no matter what we could lose in the process. I know you're gonna tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't gonna say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. The match is happening. Oh. Okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. It sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, we'll be out there front and center. It's time for the greatest spectacle in sports entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania. If you've somehow been off the grid for the past 24 hours, then you missed the news that we have a huge last minute change to tonight's event. After being ambushed at the conclusion of their Hall of Fame speech, Red and Trey will seek revenge against Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. And saying that the stakes are high feels like a severe understatement. If Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can defeat Red and Trey, they will take their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. And we've never seen anything like this before, and it's highly improbable we ever will again. With respect to every competitor who enters the ring tonight and every championship that's contested, it's now time for the most important match of the evening. Red and Trey are here to take on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe with their Hall of Fame spots on the line. It's truly impressive Red and Trey overcame both physical and emotional trauma to be here tonight. But I suppose revenge can motivate someone to do just about anything, including putting everything they've dreamed of and worked for at risk. Uh, guys, what are these pieces of paper falling down from above? I believe it's supposed to symbolize their new list, and there's only one thing on it. Beat Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. This is why I left the two seats. It's time to move on. I'm glad you're here. I think that might have been Trey's adopted parents sitting at ringside. I think you're right, Myron. And now here are the two superstars who want nothing more than to take everything from Red and Trey to essentially erase their legacies in a single night. It's the so-called American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. Yeah, these two have a much different kind of bond than Red and Trey. It's an affiliation based on shared hatred for their opponents tonight, dating back years in both cases. Full disclosure, I think we're looking at the newest members of the WWE Hall of Fame class. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical standpoint since the moment they joined forces. Red and Trey would have a hard time stopping them if they were at full strength, and we know they're not even close to that. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's going to make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. 
WrestleMania is often called the showcase of the immortals. But Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their immortality. They're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other after Brooklyn Von Braun destroyed their original career-defining list and nearly did the same thing to their friendship just proves their bond is unbreakable. They truly are a package deal. While I agree with you on that, you have to consider what I said earlier. There's no way Red and Trey are 100 or even 50% after the brutal attack just two nights ago. Mark my words, that will be a factor at some point in this career-defining match. After this match, the championship will finally have a home. It will have a new champion. Boom, what impact! Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Uh-oh, and now looking to get it locked in. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Look out here. He's got something cooking. Oh, uh, look out! And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Oh, the European uppercut. Gets the tag. There is something I've noticed throughout Samoa Joe's career. Something that should make all WWE superstars very cautious. Joe is like an assassin. He targets the competition. Not only with a mission to defeat them, but a mission to destroy them. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Lutez press! Tough spot for her here, guys. It's like she doesn't even know where she is. see Samoa Joe having the characteristics of an assassin, carrying the attitude of a merciless mercenary. I question Joe's moral judgment, his lack of sportsmanship. Well, unfortunately, gentlemen, morality doesn't win championships, and you fellas may hate it, but you have no choice but to respect it. Samoa Joe makes no apologies for taking people out because he didn't... Look at this! From up top, diving center! Not yet. Whoa, not so fast. Boom! A knee right to the face! Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Samoa Joe with his back against the wall. He's looking to do more damage from the ropes here. These two incoming. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Down with a power bomb. Trey escapes the Yurinagi. And now he's got Samoa Joe in the Coquina clutch. Red takes Brooklyn down. Hold on. Is this actually happening? It is. Red and Trey of Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe locked in their own submission holds. After everything that's happened among these four adversaries, this feels like the perfect ending. Don't get ahead of yourself. They need to actually finish them off. Can Red and Trey do the unthinkable? Will Brooklyn and Samoa Joe give up? They tapped. It's over. Red and Trey have pulled off the impossible and ensured that they will forever be honored in the WWE Hall of Fame. This match takes place 20 times, and on 19 of those occasions, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe get the win, but not tonight. This was special. This was your night, Red and Trey. Congratulations for the second time on your Hall of Fame induction.
This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. Some maintenance guy from the arena was selling it online. It wasn't cheap. Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh, my gosh. I thought I lost you, but you're back. There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. <laughs> it appears that the list has somehow been salvaged. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off two nights ago. Tonight, we witnessed the unexpected. An unexpected victory. An unexpected reconciliation. And finally, the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. But it was more than that to Red and Trey. It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that list that this was their destiny. Well said, Michael. Soak every bit of this in. Red and Trey, you deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winners of tonight's match and still members of the WWE Hall of Fame, Red and Trey.